Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is my case presentation, which is entitled uh, Dengue Hemorrhagic Fever. What is Dengue? Um, dengue is an infection that is caused by any of four virus serotypes. The clinical manifestations range from a symptomatic infection to undifferentiated fever, and dengue fever and dengue hemorrhagic fever. Specifically, dengue hemorrhagic fever is characterized by sustained high fever for two to seven days, which is uh, which has bleeding diathesis such as positive tourniquet test, um, PTK, epistaxis, and hematemesis, thrombocytopenia with platelet counts of less than 100 times 10 uh, microliter, and plasma leakage due to increased vascular permeability as evidenced by hemoconcentration, pleural effusion, and ascites. Um, bleeding diathesis is caused by vasculopathy, platelet dysfunction, and coagulopathy. We should always remember that a uh, dengue hemorrhagic fever has no specific treatment. But the most important aspect of management is intensive supportive care, which uh, as nurses uh, are, are as part of the medical group, we must always remember that there should be early recognition, careful monitoring for circulatory disturbances, optimal fluid therapy, which means to maintain the functions of the vital organs during the critical period and effective control of bleeding episodes will lead to favorable outcomes. This last one, which is the recombinant activated factor 8, suggested to be, the, to be administered whenever bleeding does not respond to blood component therapy. However, this is not uh, usual in our setting or here in the Philippines because there is already an epidemic. So this is only applicable for those who requires or those countries who has this um, recombinant activated factor 8. The, the, I will give you some of the brief history about dengue. Surprisingly, the first and second epidemics occurred here in Manila in year 1954 and 1956, followed by the third in Bangkok in 1958. Since then, dengue hemorrhagic fever has spread throughout tropical Asian countries and has expanded globally. Now, um, here is my patient, a pedia patient. The patient PJD, age 4 years old, and lives in Santa Catalina, Mambuso, Papis. Birthday on November 7, 2007. And place of birth, Mambuso, Papis. And nationality, Filipino, under Dr. B, uh, which has the diagnosis of dengue hemorrhagic fever, stage 3, or dengue shock syndrome with pleural effusion and ascites. With the data I used, here are the medical history I have gathered. Four days prior to admission, mother claimed that the patient experienced intermittent fever. Then two days before hospitalization, the patient was uh, noted to be a febrile. However, on the day of admission, there was a persistent onset of nose bleeding was, uh, was present and so the mother sought help in the nearest district hospital in Nongusao. The mother has completed the prenatal checkups when she got pregnant and also completed the immunizations she has uh, for patient JP. Assessment across the lifespan. According to patient GD's mom, GD as a kid, he, managed, he manages to verbalize what he wants, such as milk, kind of toys to play, even clothes to wear. Furthermore, she said that he, is a, he was an active kid, loves to socialize with his peers by playing and talks a lot, even though fluency is not much present. According to Erickson's psychosocial theory, what JD exhibits is uh, the is classified under the exploration stage, 
wherein the child asserts to take control and power over the environment by taking initiative, by planning activities, accomplishing tasks, and facing challenges. Success in this stage leads to a sense of purpose, while failure results in a sense of guilt. Under the family assessment, I have found out that the patient belongs to a nuclear family that is located in Mambusao Papis, which is a rural, rural area. Both parents are government, government employees and capable of providing the, the basic needs of their family. The mother claimed that as long as they can provide the needs of their two children, they are happy and contented with their lives. Moreover, she mentioned when it comes to health, especially the kids' health, they seek help from the doctors rather than any folk healers. Under the cultural assessment, the data I have gathered uh, is that the entire family are all Filipinos. The patient and his sibling were born and raised in Mambusal Papis, also the hometown of their parents. The mother claimed that they have close family ties. They help one another in times of needs, especially when patient JD was very sick. Under the nutritional assessment, patient JD weighed 14.4 kilograms upon admission. But according to his mother, he has lost weight weeks before admission due to poor appetite as, as, as played by the mother. However, she mentioned that before JD got dengue, he eats a lot but not, but not so much of vegetables and fond of eating fried chickens instead. He seldom got sick and it's usually common colds. Except for his recent hospital admission, he had due, due to dengue hemorrhagic fever. And the measurements he had, uh, upon admission, he had a temperature of 38 degrees Celsius. His pulse rate is 113 uh, beats per, per minute. Respiratory rate of 38 breaths per minute. The BP of 80 over 50 mil, uh, MMHG. <laughs> Stop. 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 Stop.